Chapter 6 Introduction to HTML5 Today, internet has become an integral part of everyone's life. It is a huge source to get information that can be accessed and shared by millions of internet users. The information on internet is displayed through websites and within websites on different pages called web pages. Every web page is actually an HTML file. It may contain text, images, sound, videos and links. Each HTML file is just a plain text file but with a .html file extension instead of .txt and is made up of many HTML tags as well as the content for a web page. The HTML document can be viewed in any web browser. Brief History of HTML In 1980, IBM developed GML, that is General Markup Language. It helps in creating documents. In 1986, this language was standardized and modified, which defined the standardized generalized markup language, that is SGML. In 1989, Tim Berners-Lee invented HTML. The standard version of it came into existence when HTML 2.0 was announced in 1995. HTML 3.0 came into existence after two years and then after two years, HTML 4.0 was announced. Around 2008, HTML5 came into existence. HTML5 is the latest version of HTML. The following are the features which make it different from the previous versions. HTML5 offers new elements for better document structure. It is capable of handling incorrect syntax. It can contain embedded videos and audios without using external software support or plugins like Flash Player. With Canvas feature, you can also draw images directly into the web page. It uses structure such as drag and drop, which allows to drag and drop the items from a location to another location on the same web page. What is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Hyper is the opposite of linear. Old-fashioned computer programs were necessarily linear, that is, they had a specific order. But with a hyper language, such as HTML, the user can go anywhere on the web page at any time and not just move linearly. Hypertext is the method by which you move around on the web by clicking on special text called hyperlinks, which bring you to the next page. Text is just what you are looking at now. English characters used to make up ordinary words. Markup is what is done to the text to change its appearance. For instance, text can be displayed in different colors. Language is the way of communication between web pages, which has its own syntax and rules. HTML is the language that computers read in order to understand web pages. HTML is a markup language that defines the structure of your content. HTML consists of a series of elements which you use to enclose or wrap different parts of the content to make it appear a certain way or act a certain way. The enclosing tags can make a word or image hyperlink to somewhere else, can italicize words and can make font bigger or smaller and so on. Writing HTML Documents HTML is a tag-based language. Tags instruct a browser to retrieve and display information or graphics on the page. They are surrounded by two characters, less than and greater than, which are called angular brackets. The tags make up the entire structure of the document. HTML tags normally come in pairs, as shown on the screen. The first tag in a pair is the opening tag, or the on tag, and the second tag is the closing tag, or the off tag. The text between the opening tag and closing tag is the element content. HTML elements HTML tags are predefined and are not case sensitive. For example, head written in capital letters or head written in small letters both are correct and will have the same effect. The HTML elements can be categorized as container element. This element contains an opening as well as a closing tag. It contains some text within it. Examples of these tags are as follows. Empty element. This element contains only an opening tag. It does not contain any text within it. Example of these tags are 
as follows HTML document structure An HTML document has two main parts the head and the body The head of an HTML document is that part where information such as the document's title can be placed The body of an HTML document is that part where all the information you wish to view appears all the tags related to formatting tables tests hyperlinks etc are specified in this part of html document these tags are of the form this should appear at the beginning of your document this should appear at the end of your document in html documents structure is very important an incorrect document structure will result in a broken web page so remember the following points while writing the html code the tag name and attributes are not case sensitive for example body in capital letters is the same as body in small letters the values of the attributes can be case sensitive the tag names should have no space before after or in between for example written this way the tags are incorrect the element that is opened first is closed later for example this is correct whereas this is incorrect values given to attributes should be enclosed within the quotes especially if the value contains any blank space if any attributes are there with the tag each attribute is separated by a tab space or return characters the order of attributes in the tag can be anything there is no rule for it the attributes value can be given after the attribute name by giving an equal to sign before it html editors an html editor is a program for editing html the markup of a web page to create an html document you need an html editor There are two types of HTML editors. Text editors. Text editors use HTML tags to create a web page. If you are using text editors, it is required that you have proper knowledge of the HTML commands. Example of text editors are Notepad, WordPad, Notepad++, etc. WYSIWYG editors. WYSIWYG stands for what you see is what you get. This type of editor allows you to create a web page without the use of HTML tags. Examples of such type of editors are Microsoft front page, Adobe Dreamweaver, etc. Basic tags of HTML. Doc type. The doc type declaration tag is used by the web browser to understand the version of the HTML used in the document. Current version of HTML is 5 and it makes use of the following declaration. HTML This tag encloses the complete HTML document and mainly comprises of document header which is represented by and document body which is represented by these tags Head This tag contains information that is important about the web page but will not appear on the browser window It can keep other HTML tags as shown on the screen Title The title tag defines the title that will appear in the title bar of the web browser. The title tag is used inside the head tag to mention the document title. Body The body tag contains all the information and other visible contents on the page. All the images, links and plain text must go within the body tag. This tag represents HTML tags like the following. creating an html document the html files have an extension of .html or .htm let us see how to open and create a document using notepad step 1 open notepad by clicking on start all programs notepad step 2 in the notepad type the following program step 3 click on file save menu option Step 4 The Save As dialog box will appear. Select the folder where you want to save it. Step 5 Select all files in Save As type option. Step 6 Type the name in file name text box with an extension .html or .htm. Step 7 Click on Save button. Viewing an HTML document 
To view an HTML document, you need a web browser like Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, etc. Step 1. Double-click on Internet Explorer icon on the desktop to open the browser. Step 2. Press Ctrl plus O to access the open dialog box or enter the letter for the drive in which your HTML file is present in the address bar. In our case, it is in D. Step 3. Press the Enter key. The directories and files on that particular drive will be displayed. Now navigate the directory that contains the file you want to open. Step 4. Click on the HTML file. The browser will display the page. Elements in HTML Heading Elements Heading elements are used to break up large areas of text, announce topics to follow, and all range of information according to a logical hierarchy. Page headings are created with the HN tag in which N is a number between 1 and 6. For example, look at the screen. There are six levels of heading, each using a slightly smaller font size. H1 is the highest level and the largest level of all headings and H6 is the lowest level and the smallest. Heading tags can have the following attributes. Align equal to left aligns the heading on the left. Align equal to right aligns the heading on the right. Align equal to center aligns the heading in the center. Align equal to justify aligns the heading between the two margins. The syntax is as follows. By default, all browsers align headings on the left. Body tag attributes. Body tag encloses whatever we see on the web page. This tag and its attributes affect the look and appearance of a web page. For example, the font, font size and font color etc. can be changed by using the attributes within these two tags. The following table describes all the attributes that can be used with the body tag. Background. For the attribute background, the syntax is as follows. This attribute is used to set an image as a background for the page. For example, to set an image named flower.jpg, which is in any folder of your computer, type the following. Attribute bg color. The syntax is as follows. This attribute sets the color of the background. Suppose to set the color of the background as blue, Type the following. Attribute text. The syntax is as follows. This attribute sets the color of the text on the web page. To set the color of the text as red, type the following. Attribute left margin, right margin, top margin and bottom margin. The syntax is as follows. Left margin refers to the empty space to the left of the web page. The value of the margin is defined in pixels. If you want to set the left margin to 70 pixels, type the following. Similarly, you can set other three margins on the web page. Paragraph formatting tags. Usually, a new paragraph is created in a document by pressing the Enter key. But in case of HTML document, the paragraph created by the Enter key is not understood by the browser. A web browser ignores all the blank spaces or carriage returns typed into the text editor. The P tag. The P tag is used in the HTML for inserting a paragraph break at the given place in the text. It is used to separate the text into different paragraphs. The alignment of the paragraph can be set using the align attribute. There are three types of alignment, left, right and center. The pre tag. Pre tag stands for pre-formatted text, which means that the text in the browser will be displayed in a fixed width font with all the blank lines and tabs. This tag displays the text in the same way as you have typed in the code. The default font style used with pre-tag is the courier font. The font tag. 
The font tag element is used to change the size, font style and color of the text that is to be displayed on a web page. This element has three attributes, size, color and face. Font tag is used within the body tag. For the attribute size, the syntax is as follows. This attribute specifies the size of the font. The value lies between 1, which is the smallest, to 7, which is the largest. The default browser size is 3. For example, to set the font of any text to 5, type the following. For the face attribute, the syntax is as follows. This attribute specifies the style of the font. For example, to set the font style of any text to Comic Sans MS, type the following. For the attribute color, the syntax is as follows. This attribute specifies the color of the font. The default font color is black. For example, to set the font color of any text to blue, type the following. Write the following HTML code and view the output in the browser. Line break or BR tag. BR tag is used to insert or provide blank lines. Therefore, whenever you want to provide breaks in the text or want the text to appear as a new separate line, you need to use the BR tag. The text which is enclosed between the BR tag will appear as a separate line in the web browser. It is an empty element which means it does not have a closing tag. Horizontal rule HR tag. In HTML, you can create a horizontal rule using the HR tag. This tag is used to insert a horizontal line which can be used to separate paragraphs or sections in a web page. The horizontal line is started from a new line and any text after this tag is displayed in a new line. HR tag is an empty tag. It has the following attributes associated with it. For attribute align, the syntax is as follows. This sets the alignment of the line in the web page. There are three alignments, left, right and center. For example, to align right, type the following. For the size attribute, the syntax is as follows. This sets the size or the length of the horizontal line in the web page. For example, type the following. The width attribute. For the width attribute, the syntax is as follows. This sets the width of the horizontal line. The value has to be specified in percentage. For example, color attribute. The syntax is as follows. This sets the color of the horizontal line. For example, no shade attribute. The syntax is as follows. No shade attribute sets the horizontal line in a solid no shade color. This is a boolean attribute and does not contain any value. Physical tag. A physical character tag controls how the characters are formatted. These tags are used inside the body tag. These are used to change the physical appearance of the character. These are container tags. The listing below displays some common physical character tags. Tag B defines text in bold letters. Tag I defines text in italics. Tag U underlines the text. Tag big defines the text in a big font. Tag small defines the text in a small font. Tag S or strike strikes the text. Tag double T displays text as typewriter font. Tag sub displays the text below the normal text. Tag sup displays the text above the normal text. Look at the following example. 